Zippity doo da, beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Uh, as you can see here today, I'm filming this video on the beaches of Fort Wilderness here in Walt Disney World. But what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to talk about the leads that will give you the highest return on investments, the highest profit margins. So what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to look at the three different types of leads. And we're going to break these down into, to, like I said, three different types. We're going to call these A leads, B leads, and C leads. Okay, so let's start off by looking at what an A lead is. And an A lead is the type of leads that most of you are going after. Um, these typically are people who are looking to buy right now. Now, obviously you would think, well, that, that isn't that what we want? And yes, that is, but it does have some negative sides to it. Um, number one, because they're looking to buy right now, you have a whole lot of competition, plus they are the most expensive. Plus, according to some research done by Chet Holmes International, it shows that only 3% of the population is ready to buy anything at any given time. So this 3% of the population is not only responding to your ads and looking to buy from you, but they're also looking to buy from your competition. So if we use some of these B and C type of leads, if we uh, cater our marketing message to be able to attract those type of people, we can uh, increase our profit margins, but we can also decrease the amount of money that we're spending to attract those type of leads, and then our competition will, will be dramatically dropped as well. So ideally, we would imagine that, that an A lead is the perfect type of lead, um, and it would be if we had an unlimited advertising budget, but we're trying to keep our profit margins uh, up. Obviously, we need to make a lot of profit, but we also have a lot of competition by going after those A leads. So they're not always the perfect type of customer to go after. Now, the second type of lead is what we call as a B lead. And this is only about 7% of the population. And this is the market that is thinking about it. So uh, as an example of this, let's say that you sold insurance. And so maybe you would run an ad uh, to, to capture those people who are thinking about it. So here's an example of an ad for if you are selling insurance. Uh, discover the secrets of what the insurance industry is not telling you about getting the best prices on your insurance deals. Uh, let's say that you were a contractor. What you should know before you hire a contractor. Uh, what you, how to check the licensing, the, the, you know, the contractor's license of the contractors, things of that sort. So when you're going after this, when you're going after B leads, you want to capture those people of what do they want to know before they, they buy. And, uh, and, and so that's how we capture B leads. So, so let's look at a B lead a little bit more. So again, according to Chet Holmes International, it shows us that 7% that of the population is thinking about it. So let's look at this. If we only at, went after that 3%, that people who are only looking to buy, we lose all of those who are thinking about it off to our competition at a later date. So that's why it's very advisable to also uh, go after those people who are thinking about it. Now a little bit more details on the B type of leads. Um, you're, because these are people who are thinking about it and they're not ready to buy, you're gonna be able to uh, reduce your expenses, the cost to acquisition a lead, anywhere from about 10 to 20%, but you're also gonna have anywhere from about 80 to 90% less competition because most people, most businesses are only going after those people who are looking to buy right now. But again, as I just showed you, because there's so few people who are looking to buy right now, if we capture those leads and follow up with them and build a relationship with them, we can capture them when they are ready to buy. Now here's some other interesting uh, facts and information is that, that when it comes down to major pur purchases, research has shown that, that people start looking, start doing the research anywhere from about 18 to 24 months ahead of time. Now, one of the other things, we're getting some uh, waves coming up here on the beach uh, because of the boats, but um, one of the other things is that once we capture those people who are thinking about it, we just make a slight modification to our marketing message. We can boost it from 3% who are ready to buy to 30% who are ready to buy right now. Now last of all is what is called as a D lead. And these are my favorite type of leads because these are the ones that will really give you the highest profit margins. These are the ones that will give you the highest return on investments. Um, they will take a little bit more time to warm up for them to be able to be, uh, be ready to buy. Um, and because of that, this means that you would, all, you would wanna go after an A type of lead and a C type of lead in the meantime. Um, 
and for some businesses, they're they're even going to want to completely avoid even going after uh, the B type of leads if they're a small enough business. So ideally, you want to go after A leads, B leads, and C leads. But let's let's talk about what a D lead or uh, yeah, what a D, uh, what a C lead is. And again, this is what's going to give you the highest return on investment. Now, a C lead is 70% of the population. Uh, these are the people who are again are who are not necessarily thinking about it, um, and and in actuality, they're not even thinking about it at, at all. And what we're, and the way that we capture these type of people is uh, by using a strategy that that we like to call here as backdoor marketing. Um, just an example of a way that you would you could capture uh, those type of people is by offering contests. They're not thinking about buying. They're not ready to buy, but they say, "Sure, if I could win a contest, I would. Sure, I would definitely buy it." So that's one of the ways that we can get. But uh, uh, so some of the benefits of going after a, a C lead is that they're the, the, the least expensive. You're gonna uh, cut down your advertising budget anywhere from about 90 to about 95 percent, uh, even 99 percent in some cases, by going after these type of leads. You also have virtually no competition, um, if at all any competition. Now B lead, you're still gonna have some competition. But if you're, let's say, if you're a local business running a small, medium-sized business in a in a localized community, uh, by going after the C type of leads, uh, chances are you're going to have no competition at all. If you even do, you might only have one or two. Um, but the, the the main benefits from going after a C type of lead is because of the profit margin. Like I said, you're going to be able to reduce your expenses anywhere from about 90 to about 99 percent. Okay, now that you know this, what do you do with this? Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna spend a little bit of our advertising budget uh, by going after those three percenters, those A type of leads, those people who are looking to buy right now because we need to have a consistent cash flow coming in, right? Uh, we need to have consistent customers coming in and the way that we, get, we capture the, that market is by going after those A type of leads. Now, we also have 70% of the population who aren't really thinking about it, right? They're not even thinking about it at all, but if we just make a slight modification to our marketing message, we can capture 70% of the population instead of the, the two to 3% of the population. So let me ask you this. Do you think that it would be easier to make more money by working less hours by going after the two to three percent of the population that all of your competition is going after or by going after 70 percent of the population that pretty much none of your competition is actually doing now let me just tell you a, a quick little story i have a guy that i've been working with not even quite a year as of yet and uh, he's he's a insurance agent and in his brokerage he is now the number two income earner in his entire company uh, he was in the bottom 80 percent of income earners because he was going after that three percent just like what everybody else was doing um, then he switched up his advertising campaign started going after those people who were not thinking about it and uh, he, because of that he, he increased his profit margin and uh, that's what helped him to become the number two income earner in his entire company and I truly believe that he'll become number one within the next couple of months or so Okay, so the way that he would do this is he, is he would run these advertising campaigns uh, for a free $25 dinner on him. So obviously, uh, the, the, that was something that uh, had a mass market appeal. Most of the people would be interested in something like this. So they requested their free $25 gift card on him. He'd show up at their house to deliver it. He'd sit down with them, spend a few minutes with them. And then because of making a slight modification to his marketing message as compared to what everybody else was doing, he would have a real conversation with them, get them to know their needs, get them to get to know them, build this trust. And uh, 45 minutes to an hour later, he would walk out with a life insurance policy. Now, in most cases, like I said, uh, when you change your modif you, when you change your marking message, just make a slight modification to your marking message. You can boost it from three percent who are ready to buy to thirty percent who are ready to buy. So in this case, his name is Sam Chan. He had a, a, a much higher than normal closing ratio. He boosted it up from that 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 thirty percent or that three percent to not only that thirty percent but 90%. So the people who requested this, this free $25 gift card from him by do, using backdoor marketing, um, he was then able to close 
uh, in the high 90% of those people that he had appointments with, again, by giving this, this gift card to him. So there's different ways that we can do this. Um, we can give away gifts, we can have contests. Um, one of the things that I do, as you know, so I'm selling marketing and uh, business services, right? But I offer dating advice and marriage advice and fitness. And you might wonder how does that tie into uh, you know, what, what, what you're gonna be selling. So what I do is I look at to identify a problem, identify a problem that they have, and I find a way to be able to tie it to the products and services that I have. And as we continue throughout these videos, we'll show you how to, how to do that. Uh, so, so stay tuned for future videos so you can see how to do that. Uh, plus, if you would like more details on this, feel free to get in contact with us and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, but I do hope this information was helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you in our next video. And before we go, we, we'd like to make a suggestion to you. You'll either find this down below directly underneath this video or perhaps on the side of this video, just depending on where, where you're watching this. Um, I want to encourage you to go ahead and check out what we call as the unfair advantage marking system. So again, if this, will, this information was helpful for you today, I want to encourage you to go ahead and, and check that out and see if that would be a benefit to you as well. But I uh, had a blast filming this video for you today here at Fort Wilderness here in Walt Disney World, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.